Hi, I'm Rafe Griffin, the General Manager of Football Brisbane. As you've seen over the past couple of weeks, we've been taking a look at our clubs, big and small, and shining a spotlight on them. Today's interview is compelling, or today's discussion is compelling. It's not until you actually come out on the ground and actually have a chat to some of the players and people involved in clubs that you realise just what impact they have on the local community. This is really a compelling chat and I'd urge you to watch it. This is Logan Ruse, Club in Focus. It's training afternoon at Logan Ruse and what a thriving metropolis it is at the moment with all the kids around and I'm with uh, one of the representatives of the club, Abdul. Yes. Hello Abdul, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Firstly Abdul, how Logan Ruse, probably the you know fourth year or so since you've been in Football Brisbane, yes. but what was the history of the club and how did it come to be? The club initially we started in 2016 and there was a need for the community to play sports. Uh, as you know we are, we, I have 35 different nationalities and um, it's very diverse. We have uh, kids from most of the part of the world here and mostly dominated by Muslim community, mostly migrants and refugees here. The community I have is a challenging community, they were having difficulties. You know, we have parents here, like uh, as like practicing Muslim mothers here. They found difficulty to take their children. Some of them they don't know how to drive. Some of them they don't know. So, me working for many years in a community, in mosques and things that I saw that our kids wanted to play, but and there were so much talents in the community. But these kids were overlooked by everyone. These talents are there already, but. Um, you know, there's no one to nurture them, look after them. And this, uh, bringing these clubs and the community uh, together has benefited these children, taking them off street, you know, and a lot of uh, benefits were there. And also bringing the parents together. Some parents, uh, they have no one here. They came as migrants. And some kids have no parents here, no mother, no father, you know. And the club has become a big family club. I created an environment where they can feel comfortable. So during training time, you will see after close to 5.45, all the kids will stop training. They will go in the middle of the field and they will pray together. You know, this, and we have kids uh, from Islamic faith, from Christian faith. We have Sikh community and many other faiths, which even people who have no faiths here, you know. So thank uh, God that we have established, we tried our best to uh, establish a community here. And there are mothers who have no family here. They don't have brothers, sisters. They don't know where. You know, some parents are from Yuga, China. Their parents are from in concentrated camps. You know, we don't. Ha they have no connection there. So only family is the club. You know, kids. Uh, we look after the kids here. When the kid gets sick, we go as a club with the parents. We go to the visit those kids. You know, and make them comfortable. Next day, you see the kid is fresh and you know he's healthy. So we have created something. It's a big family, you know, we can say this, Logan Roos is a family, you know, thank you. It's a place where all the different nationalities come here, you know, there is no, there, there is no restriction in any way at all, it's especially in today's, today's climate. Uh, and it is positive, they're growing up with a more positive attitude. I think we, we need to also remember that 100% of these kids come from a refugee or migrant background and uh, you know with with the assistance and guidance of uh, abdul they've established themselves as as a uh, more or less elite sort of club what it's also done is brought the parents of these children out of their homes coming back to Ab abdul <laughs> if it wasn't for abdul having done what he has done for such a long time uh, putting all of his effort his time uh, sacrificing his private life as well um, I don't think we would have achieved anything near what we have got now